When we talk about a slap tear in a baseball player, it oftentimes presents as a bicep strain. So oftentimes they'll feel pain in the front of their shoulder. You gotta be able to differentiate biceps pain and, and a slap type pain that's going on in the joint. The reason why the biceps oftentimes presents as a strain is because of its intimate attachment into that superior portion of the labrum. So the forces that go through the biceps may also affect a slap lesion or cause a slap lesion. Right? So again, when you're thinking about a slap tear, that proximal humerus pain is going to occur, especially with late cocking and early acceleration. So you got to be able to ask that question with your patients. When are they feeling the pain with throwing? If it's in that phase of throwing, there is a good chance it could be a slap tear going on in the shoulder joint. Unfortunately, it's a, it's also it oftentimes can occur with a rotator cuff strain or some kind of other pathology in the shoulder joint as well. So slap tear is one diagnosis that I would keep in the back of my head, one differential diagnosis. Because oftentimes they'll say they feel dead arm, they feel a loss of velocity, but that occurs with most, uh, it, it, most injuries in the overhead thrower. So again, you gotta be able to differentiate uh, some of these other pathologies that are going on in the joint. Also keep in mind, you gotta be able to rule out a thoracic outlet syndrome. We'll talk about that in a second, but I think it's, it sees us more than we see it. I think it presents to us, and we, we call it something else, we call it a strain, we call it a sprain, we call it a slap tear, because they also oftentimes report loss of velocity, dead arm, they may even report having the yips. So I, again, I think we gotta keep that in the back of our head. We'll talk about that in a second, but I just wanted to present that case to you right now, thoracic outlet syndrome, as a differential diagnosis. Mm -hmm.